Nā, kua tata te tau mai o ngā wai wai o re hua ki raro. Nō reira, kua tīma te ke e tahi o tātou ki te whakawhai te whakaaro ki te āhua o ngā kahu kaukau hei kuhu mā rātou ki te puna kaukau te awa me te moana. Tērā te tahi pakehi kahu kaukau te rongonui haere i roto i te rāngai whatu pueru i Aotearoa nei me te awa nō hoki. I kōreroa Kane Peters ki te tohunga hoa hoa o taua pakehi. Arā, kia Sarah Jane Abraham o ngā timaru. Ok, good to go. You know, I like dream big. Oh. Put it out there. Yeah. You look amazing. Uh. See what happens. Yeah. And it's all happening for daughter of Ngati Maru, Sarah Jane Abraham. It's exceeded all of my expectations. It's growing so fast. Sarah Jane is the director and designer of Surface Too Deep, a swimwear label that's dazzling the eyes of beachgoers locally and around the world. We've got, I think it's up to 19 stoppers in New Zealand. We're shipping out globally. I'm like, really? Like, don't you have swimwear over there? <laughs> You're buying it from New Zealand. It's hilarious, but awesome. Marae Investigates followed Sarah Jane backstage at this year's New Zealand Fashion Week as she showcased her swimwear for a second year in a row. New Zealand Fashion Week, I just wanted to go there. That's, you know, like just to actually go and see a show. I didn't ever think that showing twice in a row was ever going to be possible. Surface Too Deep was founded by Sarah Jane's design school friend, Esther Bryant Lindsay of Ngaitahu. After joining the label last year, Sarah Jane has taken the reins as director and is amazed at how quickly the label is expanding. One of our goals last year, in about April, was we thought, oh, you know, six years' time, I reckon we could probably do New Zealand Fashion Week. <laughs> and it was six weeks later we were showing at New Zealand Fashion Week last year. After their first showing at New Zealand Fashion Week, Sarah Jane and Esther decided to try and push the label across the Tasman at Australian Fashion Week. They were stunned to even get a response. We got an email from the producer saying, uh, how would you like to show at Australian Fashion Week in six weeks' time? <laughs> so, yeah, it was a bit scary. We had to do some, some fast talking, some fast thinking. So surely with Surface Too Deep success, Sarah Jane must be raking in the cash. People expect you to be living that high life. I don't. I don't have all that money to throw around. Everything I do, I'm investing into the business, so any spare money, that's where it goes. It's the kind of industry that's really fickle as well. One minute you might be the hottest thing ever, next minute, oh no, someone else is bigger and better. You're constantly going to be on top of your game. So how did Sarah Jane find herself on this path? I grew up in Manaya, um, just out of Coromandel. I always remember my mum yelling at me, get out of the mirror! <laughs> but it was more like I was, like, I didn't have a mannequin, so I was the one just trying on different clothes, seeing what worked with what, you know, being my own stylist, really. When I was about... 18 I was given a sewing machine, had some time on my hands and just ended up um, kind of spending my time sewing. I ended up bumping into an old uh, school teacher and she asked me where I got my dress from and I was like, oh, you know, just made it. <laughs> so she, she kind of said, oh, you should think about going to university and doing it at university. And that's exactly what Sarah Jane did. Now she's risking it all to pursue a dream she has no doubt will become reality. It's the scariest thing I've ever done. You know, it sounds really silly. Realistically, what happens if the worst case scenario is the business fails, I do something else. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I go, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I, came to win, to I think the hardest thing is you can't plan for anything. Like, you might think everything's absolutely sorted and then some little thing or some big thing will happen where you've got to act within 24 hours or you miss an opportunity. And it's, a, it's really about making the most of every single opportunity. Making the most of every opportunity is paying off for Sarah Jane. Her label, Surface Too Deep, has been invited to show for a second time at Australian Fashion Week next April. And she's not letting anything get in her way. 
a little secret motto of mine is fake it till you make it. <laughs>